Hello everyone, in this video I will be reviewing the Avermedia Live Gamer Mini Video Capture Card Model GC311. In this video I'll be covering the following topics. First, I'm gonna be unboxing very quickly the capture card. I'm gonna show you what you'll have in the box when you purchase this capture card. Then I'm gonna talk about the specifications and the connections of this capture card. And also I'm gonna show you how to connect it to your PC. And I'm gonna also be talking about the software of this capture card. Because this capture card can work as a plug and play capture card without any software installed. But I'm gonna also talk about what is the benefit of installing the software and how to use it. I'm gonna also be connecting this capture card to my Canon PowerShot G7X Mark III camera. And I'm gonna be configuring it in OBS. I'm gonna show you here how to configure it in OBS for the best video output. And also I'm gonna be doing a comparison between the footage from the raw camera video and the footage captured with this capture card. And I'm gonna also be recording a game stream on this capture card so you can see how it records games. So let's start. So I'm gonna open the box. So this is a capture card. And also in the box, you get a USB 2.0 cable. It is a braided cable of a very good quality. It's micro USB to USB A. It's like a warranty extension card and a small user manual. So this is everything you get in the box. So as I said, this is a model GC311 and it has an HDMI input and an HDMI output ports and a USB 2.0 port. This is a micro USB port. So for the HDMI version, it is 1.4 and the maximum supported resolution, whether it is pass through or recording, it is 1080p 60 frames per second. So now let's connect the card to the computer and to the camera and I'm gonna show you how I connected it. So this is a capture card connected to my computer and to my Canon PowerShot G7X. This is the HDMI in USB port and this is my Canon camera. The footage you're seeing now is from the capture card that is connected to my Canon PowerShot G7X Mark III and I'm recording this using OBS. So the first thing I'm going to show you now is how to install the software for this capture card. It's true that you don't need the software as I said in the introduction of this video, but the software has some benefits and I'm going to show them to you. So let me switch to screen recording to install the software. To install the software, you need to open a web browser and then go to this site. So it is avermedia slash support slash download. And here you have one software that you need to install. And this is very good from avermedia. So they have something called assist central. And once you install assist central, which is here, so I'm going to click to download it. And when you install it, it will detect the capture card and it will install all the necessary software for this capture card from firmware upgrade if it needs firmware upgrading to RE Central which is the capturing and streaming software of Avermedia to also the streaming engine and I'm gonna show you all this now. So now once you download this software Assist Central launch it and it will guide you through the installation. I've already done the installation here before so I'm gonna show you RE Central now. So RE Central, as I said, is the software of capturing and streaming of Avermedia. So to launch it, just key in RE Central in the search box. Here I'm using Windows 11. So click on it to open it. The purpose of RE Central is that it will let you capture or stream whatever is going through your Avermedia capture card. So this is the interface of the software. You have settings here and here you have the recording or streaming and here you have the record button if you want to record you press here and it will start recording you have here the stream and you have the multi-stream so this is re central now let me show you a little bit what is the benefit of installing the stream engine software so let me close re central and then i'm going to open obs to show you so I'm going to show you now what's the benefit of the software on OBS. I'm going to go to the properties of the Avon Media Live Gamer Mini that I created earlier. And you can notice here that on the device that you have two options. One option is Live Gamer Mini and this is a plug and play option. And Live Gamer Mini Stream Engine and this is the option 
that you're gonna find after you install the software for the Aver Media Live Gamer Mini Capture Card. So what's the benefit of this? First of all, once you select the Steam Engine, if you go on Configure Video here, it will open for you the Aver Media Steam Engine and here you can record the stream independently from OBS at the same time that you're recording also in OBS. So this is the first advantage here. And also under video format, you notice that now you have the YU, Y2 video format. And this is a good option also for the quality of the picture. So here, let me show you the Live Gamer Mini. So if I select under device Live Gamer Mini, you notice here that the video format, you don't have YU, Y2 anymore. You have MJPEG and H.264. So if you put H.264, the latency will be unbearable. So it's like 300, 400 milliseconds latency. And also under color range here, you see that the colors are washed out a little bit now. So if you put it partial, it will correct the colors. So one other advantage of the Steam Engine also is that under Configure Video, if you choose the plug and play option here, you cannot record at the same time a clean stream as you can do with the Live Gamer Mini Stream Engine. So this is why it's better to install the software and use Stream Engine in OBS. What you're seeing now on your screen is that on the right side of the screen, you have the raw camera footage without going through the capture card. And on the left side of the screen, you have the capture card. And this is for you to compare the two outputs and see which one is better and how much the capture card is good and how is it compared to the raw camera footage. What I still want to show you before going to game capture is the latency of this capture card. All the footage that you saw before now, I had an offset of 100 milliseconds for the microphone input. So I put a delay of 100 milliseconds. And now you notice that it is out of sync because I removed this delay. And this is only to show you that this capture card has a latency of about 100 milliseconds. Now I don't have like a scientific measuring tools, but I put 100 milliseconds. I tried many settings and I found out that 100 milliseconds is the best setting. So now I'm gonna report the setting and you're gonna see to adjust the sound offset in OBS, you need to click on the settings wheel here next to your audio input device and then select advanced audio properties and under advanced audio properties, choose your main audio input device. And in my case, it is my Fifine microphone that you see here. And here I'm going to put it at 100 milliseconds. So now you see that I've put the 100 milliseconds delay and now my lips are synced with what I'm saying. And even though I have other webcams, like I have a Logitech Stream Cam, the one that you see when I record the screen, and this one also has a little bit of latency. So this 100 milliseconds will not affect also the footage from the webcams. So let me switch now and show you a little bit of game capture. I'm going to be capturing Asphalt 9, the game that I like very much. And you're going to see how good is the capture. I'm going to use RE Central to record the game. At the end, let me tell you what I like and what I don't like about this capture card. First, I like the fact that it is budget friendly for its category of capture cards. Then I like the fact that it has a very good picture quality and also it has a zero lag input and output, HDMI input and output. Also, what I like about it is that it has a very good software that comes with it. Now, what I don't like about it is that it doesn't support 4K as input, even though its output is only 1080p, 60 frames per second. And also, I don't like the fact that it is USB 2.0 and also it has a micro USB output. I mean, USB 2.0 and the micro USB form factor output, they are being phased out gradually in the IT world. Now, if you want to check out this card, I have an Amazon affiliate link in the description below. If you make a purchase using my link, I will gain a small percentage at no cost to you, and this will help my channel greatly. At the end, I want to thank you all for watching, and I hope that this video will help you in your decision of purchasing a video capture card. 
I hope that you liked this video and you found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it, and this will help the channel greatly. Thank you all for watching, and see you in the next video.